Hey, hey, YouTube, what is up? I can't even drink a fucking cup of coffee without this game shitting itself. So basically, if you guys have not been kept up with what the fuck just happened while I fell asleep for four hours for once in my life, the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh pretty much just shit the bed and is resetting. What I mean by that is there's a whole bunch of new rules, new zones, new restrictions, and I'm going to go over all of them in the simplest way I can to explain it to you because it's it's complex as fuck when you try and read it originally. So here's my attempt to explain this. There are now extra deck monster zones on board. You can summon any extra deck monster to it. There are two extra deck monster zones that do not belong to either player. The first person to summon from the extra deck gets to choose where they put their monster in either of those two zones. The monster zone has now become the main monster zone. The pendulum zone has now combined with the spell and trap zone. That means the end zones, the end two, are now the pendulum zones. So that means if you have pendulum scales set, you can only use three other spell and traps. If you're not using pendulums, you get to use all five zones as spell and trap zones. The second you put a pendulum in it, you can't put a spell and trap there. Obviously, it's a way to kind of slow down the game, make pendulum decks like Clee Demise slower. I understand why they're doing it. Next up, there's an entirely new summoning mechanic to go with the new season of Yu-Gi-Oh. This summoning mechanic is called Link Summon. You can Link Summon a monster by sending its listed materials from the field to the graveyard. So if it says two effect monsters, you send two effect monsters from your field to the graveyard and then summon this monster. You can use a Link monster that fits the criteria for another Link monster and you treat it as more than one material according to its Link number. So if a monster is a Link 2, it counts as two materials for a Link Summon that you're going to do on top of it. However, you still need to fulfill all material requirements. You can't just put a rank or a link three on top of a link two like that. That doesn't work. You need to fulfill the requirements. Just using other link monsters happens to make it easier. It's like a more complicated way to rank up your cards. And to answer your next question, why does link summoning matter? Here is why. Link monsters put in the new extra deck monster zone allow you to summon extra deck monsters to specific zones in the main monster zone that it points to. Yes, card placement not only matters again, it's now a core mechanic. Why is this important? Because you cannot summon extra deck monsters to any other zone but the extra deck monster zone, and there's only room for one card in that zone. If you summon a link monster to it, it allows you to special summon extra deck monsters to your main monster zone, but only in the specific zones it points to. So for example, one link monster might point to two zones in the main monster zone, allowing you to summon two monsters from your extra deck as opposed to just one. And just to mention this, even if you have a link monster, you cannot summon monsters to monster zones that the link monster does not designate or point to. And to answer your final question, why? Basically, Yu-Gi-Oh's been power crept a fuck ton for the last maybe 10 years. The game's been getting crazier and crazier and a whole of a lot faster. And guess what this does? it slows the game down. If you can only summon one extra deck monster, or two if you use a link monster, you're obviously going to be slowing the speed of the game down. Pretty much every deck made within the last 10 years dies, and we're going to be finding a completely new way to play this game that might not even be called Yu-Gi-Oh in the future. This shit is fucking crazy. I can't, I'm having people call me and text me, my phone is blowing up. I mean, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh world is shitting itself a little bit over this. <laughs> I think it's warranted. I'm not even going to check YGO prices to see what card prices are right now because holy fuck. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it was informative, please don't forget to click like and subscribe because it's free, it's fun, and I'll see you in the next one where we probably will discuss this more.